Hello everyone, here I have come with another new video on chemical technology and today we will study the manufacturing process of pulp. What is pulp? See pulp is the basic raw material for paper and how wood, okay, how wood is changed into pulp and finally how pulp is changed into paper it is quite interesting. So without wasting any time, let us start with the explanation of the flow sheet. The basic process for the manufacture of pulp is known as craft process. Don't mistake the word as craft. Craft is another thing. Craft basically is a German word and it means strength. So the paper we made is very strong and it is made with the help of wood. So that it depicts the craft. Okay, so that's why it is known as craft process or sulfate craft process because sulfate is used in this process. So basic raw material for the manufacture of pulp is nothing but your wood, wood or bamboo, anything. And the chemicals required are can be many like lime, uh, Na2S, that is sodium sulfite, Na2SO4. So these are the raw materials needed. But the basic raw material is wood or bamboo. So our process starts with the debarking of barked logs. Okay, the barked logs, the barks are removed. They are slaked off the wood, and the logs which are debarked nicely with the help of tumblers and rubbers, we put them into the chip bin. We have chippers. So in the chip bin, what happens? There is a rotatory uh, blade okay and these rotatory blades they um, chip they cut down the large logs and they convert them into two to five centimeter of chips flat chips are formed in the chippers for their easy reaction then they move into the preheaters in the preheater what happens they are given a certain temperature and here they become more softer now most of the things happen in another vessel in which they are taken from the preheater they are taken into a digester so digester is a vessel where our work is being done okay so what is digester actually digesters are large pressure cookers you can say that is they have a pressure of about 10 atmospheres and temperatures are different at different zones of the digester and they are very tall they are 25 to 30 meters tall but what is actually happening in digester see first of all let me explain the chem composition of the wood chip we have 50 percent water in the wood chip 25 percent is cellulose and 25 percent is lignin okay 25 percent is lignin lignin is nothing but your but your natural glue okay that holds the wood fibers together but what do we require our wood is like this but we need require kind of fibers this and how is it done this is done with the help of a cooking chemical this large pressure cooker it receives a cooking oil you can say and from where is it receiving from the very top so white liquor is fed into the digester which dissolves the lignin present in the wood chips okay it is due to the lignin that the wood chips uh, the wood fiber in is very uh, tightly held okay it is all due to the lignin so if we want to remove that uh, if we want to deep uh, disintegrate the wood fiber we need to remove the lignin out of it so lignin as we as the temperature increases and the pressure increases inside the digester with the help of the white liquor white liquor is nothing but the mixture of sodium sulfide and sodium sulfate okay this is your white liquor with the help of this white liquor the lignin dissolves and the wood chips begin to break down okay the wood when the glue is removed then the wood chips will begin to break down now this after remaining after being in the digester for 1 to 1.5 hours they are removed 
okay but before removing let me tell you that it has a different ranges of temperature in the middle it is 170 to 180 degrees celsius and at the bottom it is 65 degrees celsius you can see the side of the digester there are heat exchangers now whatever leaker is there they are uh, withdrawn as side stream from the heat exchangers and why is it done so so as to maintain the temperature okay these heat exchangers are provided so as to maintain the temperature at the bottom of the digester the temperature is 65 degrees celsius and how is it maintained at that temperature we add cold black liquor from below now you would ask that what is black liquor see black liquor is nothing but white liquor plus lignin white liquor plus lignin okay so when the lignin dissolves in the digester in the with the chemical with the cooking chemical that is white liquor it forms black liquor so after that the slurry from the bottom after being in the digester for about two to uh, 2.5 hours or uh, till 1.5 hours it is removed via the strainer A strainer is there which removes the black liquor which goes for recycling and recovery process from the strainer it is taken to the blow tank via the blow down valve valves are always put in various places in the industry so as to reduce the temp pressure okay so the pressure was very very high in the digester now it is it has to be reduced while taking to the blow tank so in the blow tank the reduced pressure stream moves into the blow tank and basically blow tank is nothing but the recovery boiler you can say here the slurry is evaporated and steam is basically steam is manufactured over here and this steam serves as the basic uh, power generation raw material power generation source so for the whole for the entire mill so blow tank in the blow tank the pulp is concentrated and then steam is taken out from the above and now the pulp the almost ready pulp is screened and why screening is required screening is required to reduce or, or the content of knots and undigested residue we do not want anything unnecessary in our pulp okay because it is semi ready we can say so they are screened so as to remove the knots and undigested residue now from the screens they are taken to a pair of filters from the pair of filter to rotatory filter press are there now so these rotary filter press what do they consist of i already explained in my previous videos if you gone through anyways so rotary filter press basically contains consists of two drums the inner drum contains vacuum okay the inner drum contains vacuum so when we are supplying the liquor to the rotary filter press the inner drum sucks due to the vacuum present in it it sucks the liquor okay and whatever solid part is there it is it is it gets digested onto the top of the rotary filter drum okay and then after some time this uh, dry part can be slaked off and the liquid can be sent to another stream so this is what we are doing the pulp is getting deposited you can see that in this via from the screen the pulp leaker whatever the pulp is it contains water obviously to some extent it is passed to the rotatory filter and then the rotatory filter is also supplying to next series of filter present that next filter and it sucks the liquid and this liquid is sucked and it is going to the black leaker stream that black leaker is going for recovery process and then whatever the pulp is formed it is getting stored okay i hope you are understanding this and whatever black liquor and again from the second filter it is again sent to the first filter so as to for a perfect uh, generation of the pulp okay so this is all about the series of filters now the black liquor whatever we have it is sent for recycling and after being recycled it is 
we are we get white liquor a proper white liquor is obtained after the recovery from black liquor and this i have covered in another video do check it out because we do not waste any part of the thing in industry because it is not economical first of all see there are two basic reasons for the recovery of black liquor the first one is environmental that is if we discharge black liquor directly into the atmosphere there will be an environmental pollution there will be water pollution most importantly and the crops will get damaged several factors will be there and second most important thing is our economy the economy of the industry has to be stabilized so we do not waste black liquor it is recovered and recycled and then it is again converted into white liquor okay so without wasting any time let us do a quick revision first of all logs of wood are taken into the chip bin chipped that is converted into the base of 2 to 5 cm of flat chips sent to a preheater preheat in the preheater nothing important happens just the temperature of the wood chips are increased to a certain level taken to the digester where the temperatures are uh, different at different levels and different zones of the digester in the digester we receive white liquor with the help of white liquor the linen present in the wood fibers get dissolved and it forms black liquor and the uh, the cooking chemical is also withdrawn from the side streams from the with the, via the heat exchangers so as to maintain the temperature at the bottom the temperature is 65 degrees celsius and the cold black liquor also enters the uh, digester from below then the slurry is taken via the strainer to the via the blow down valve where the pressure is reduced to a certain level and then taken to the blow tank blow tank is nothing but your recovery filter recovery boiler you can say the slurry boils steam is generated for the whole industry over here okay with the help of steam generated in the blow tank we are generating electricity which is enough to run the whole industry from the blow tank we are taking it to a screener or uh, any sort of screen vibrating screen or any sort of screen is there which is screening so as to remove the knots and undigested residue from the screens we are taking the slurry to the semi you can say semi ready pulp to two series of filters that is rotary filter press rotary filter drum filter press whatever and here we are separating from the slurry from the semi ready pulp we are separating the black liquor and the pulp water is hot water also is, is spread on the filter presses and then your 70% pulp is ready for either it is sent for bleaching okay either it is sent for a bleaching or either it is sent to the paper mill directly the black leaker is it is not wasted because we have to keep the economy and environmental pollution in mind it is not wasted it is sent to another unit of recycling and from after recycling it is again with the help of the mixing tank with the, we get the white liquor and it again the white liquor is sent to the digester okay so this is how your pulp is made and after pulp we are going to study the manufacture of paper mill which is covered in my another video do check it out and if you have any doubt any query then please do comment and that's all for this video thank you for watching